Ah, hello. Yo, there you go. Oh, I'm Jack Randall. Oh, um, see that? That was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, Up close and personal. And a massive snake. OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated bifin in the water. Come on, let's go. I'm right next to the lair of a trapdoor spider. Right there. The trapdoor spider has a unique strategy of building a burrow, and at the entrance of that burrow has a trapdoor. It's a flappy little panel made out just of this mossy surface here. Below it, there's these trip wires. He knows when their prey's coming along and then trips over that wire, a bit of vibrations, and he snaps out of that trap door and catches his prey. It's a really unique ambush strategy that no other spider in the world does. And where there's trap door spiders, there's often tarantulas too. That's it. That's the wall where the trapdoor spiders are. Then there's a burrow right there. That's not a trapdoor. But inside there will be a tarantula. That's the home of a female tarantula. Tarantulas hunt sitting at the edge of their burrow. Let's try and spot one. If you just look here, there's a little tarantula popping out there. Another one over there. Another burrow there. They seem to be everywhere. A little tiny one there. Another one here. They're everywhere. This is somebody's worst nightmare. I really want to try and tease one of these tarantulas out so we can have a look. There's one here, a small guy. Hopefully I'll be able to tease this one out by pretending this little bit of movement, the vibrations, is actually an insect it wants to attack. Yee! Look at that! A little baby tarantula. Yee! Look at you! I've never seen so many tarantulas in my entire life. So this is what happens at night. During the day, you didn't see them like this. They're way much further deeper in their burrow. At night, they're pretty much there, ready to pounce out. Yo, there you go. A little tiny tarantula. A little bit annoyed that it's not actually dinner. All right, see if we can get another one out. That was a small one. Wow, this is actually quite intimidating. It's pulling on my little twig, actually biting it using those fangs. Tarantula right there. Isn't it just incredible? It's quite a privilege, really, when you understand tarantulas, to be able to see them like this. Well, she's just gone back in. Look what I've just spotted. Right here. That's it. That's the trapdoor spider. It has a different strategy for hunting. The reason I can tell it's a trapdoor. You see, just below, there's a little round circle there. That's the trapdoor where it's on a hinge on the top, and it will open up, just flap open as the spider comes out. If an insect, prey item, comes along and then trips over these little trip wires, which is made out of his silk, and then will launch himself out of his burrow. Let's see if anyone's home. Ah, oh, hello. There he is. That's incredible. Our very first trapdoor spider. What an amazing technique for ambushing your prey. I must say also, it's such a weird feeling being around all these spiders. There are spiders everywhere around me. I've got a trapdoor spider here, but right down by my knee, it's a little tarantula's burrow and the tarantula's little feet just poking out. Look, how crazy is that? Oh wow, okay, there's another one. I'm expecting to see a big trapdoor spider coming out of that hole. Let's see if I can entice this one out. This is a much larger one. Oh! That is scary. That is so weird. I can't believe that. It just came out, just popped out. Bam! Woo! Seeing that trap door just like poke his way out and then come back straight in. Let's try that again. That is just ridiculously cool. And that's the difference between a tarantula and a trapdoor spider. 
God, crazy. I cannot believe it. You could see actually the way he was kind of ready. He a little bit pounced. I could see that trap door slightly moving, vibrating, thinking, hmm, should I come out? Bam, shake. And saw, actually it's just a twig, went back in. That is amazing. I can't wait to see that in slow-mo. Okay. Very intimidating doing this. So cool though. Okay. Ah! Crazy! <laughs> Mad. It's weird how they just launch themselves out like that. Now I just thought, how cool would it be to be able to feed one of the trap doors? So I'm trying to find something to feed, or at least put in the right direction of that trap door. Okay, I've got a spider. I'm not actually sure whether they eat spiders, but I imagine they do. Another invertebrate, it's about the right size. Let's try it on this trap door right here. Look at that, there's a spider there. He just hopped back. Wow, okay, you've got a lucky escape. I think for anybody who's scared of spiders, this would be their worst nightmare. They are crawling everywhere. Oh, wow. Okay, one of the trances has come out. It was on the wall. That's a male. The male are looking for the females to mate with. Only the males come out of their burrows. Very creepy. A decent sized male as well. Oh man, look at those furry legs. Often with tarantula species, the males are risking their lives mating with the females. The females often bite and kill that tarantula after they've mated. But to pass on their genes, it's always worth it for the male. So they take that risk. And that's exactly what this guy is doing tonight. On the prowl for a female to mate with. These spiders live for up to 20 years. They live in these burrows for their whole lives. 